Hey guys, today I'm going to offer a logical a logical statement about how every magic champion needs to cheat to win. And I will support it by proof. And my proof is Sebastian is treating every fetch land as a vampiric tutor. He is treating every single wasteland as a black lotus plus stone rain plus one card. Every fetch land for Sebastian is Vampiric Tutor plus two life plus one card. Now the cost of a additional card, depending on what you play it, and the core sets, it always was two and a blue to draw two. That has kind of been the standard. Now there are cards that do a little bit better of a job, but that's you draw two to replace the one that you played. So in addition to playing Black Lotus for free, and tutoring for a stone rain, he is also gaining one card, which costs two and a blue. So basically, it is two black lotuses. That's insane. If every wasteland could produce six mana and tutor for land destruction, we wouldn't even have a game. Now, my claims are going to be very, very logical. If Sebastian is so good and he's cheating this way and he's willing to cheat on camera, we can assume that if he's cheating on camera, he ha he will cheat off camera as well. I think that's a very logical assumption that this is not the first time he cheated, especially given how he's shuffling his deck, the quickness of his action, and then he touches his nose, which is a clear poker tell. Sebastian is a chemist who's 31 years old. He has top 9 Grand Prix Copenhagen 2017, two-time Pro Tour competitor, and uh, he won multiple of these events. Fantastic. These MKM European events. Um, I, they're pretty much like the Star City games, I assume, of, of the uh, EU. Now, my question is, with the arsenal of cheating, A, he's not afraid to cheat. Because he cheated on camera two times in the span of a few hours. So he's not afraid. He's not afraid to get caught. He has a job. And he loves magic. And he has a job as a chemist. So why would he risk that job unless he assumed that there is no risk. That you can cheat on camera and there would be no punishment. And that's where I think we get into the dangerous realm here. So if he's a chemist and he steals some chemicals to make meth or something like that, Breaking Bad style, he doesn't quite look like a Breaking Bad character though, then he would go to jail. But if he cheats in magic and wins the tournament and wins some money, he is not only not going to go to jail, he is now a magic champion. And my proof is in this. If he finished top 9 and he was playing Black Lotuses and uh, Wastelands for free and all of this really good stuff that he was doing, how did anyone beat him? Now, your, your counter might be, oh, he didn't cheat on camera, but clearly cheating on camera has not deterred him. He clearly knows that there's camera, cameras everywhere. I, I mean, there's literally one focused on him the entire time, right? So it's like, oh, I, I didn't know a camera was there. So that is my conclusion. I'm going to draw a simple, very logical conclusion that the only way that someone can beat him and become GP Cohagen champion or win the MKM from him or any of this stuff is if they cheat harder than he did. Otherwise, how would they beat him? How would you beat a dude who's vampiric tutoring every single turn for free and gaining a card? Vampiric Tutor, one of the most powerful cards of all time. But the problem with Vampiric Tutor is not just the two life. The two life is kind of like meh. Maybe it matters against some decks. But you lose a card. So you lose a card when you play Vampiric Tutor. It doesn't go straight into your hand. And you give your opponent the ability to manipulate the deck. Vampiric Tutor, a great, fantastic card. One mana Tutor, yeah, it's good. But what would make it better? 
Oh, I know. End of turn, Vampiric Tutor. Draw that card into my hand the very next turn. Sounds good to me, right? Sounds good to me. Because you're going to crafty fetch lands. So another weakness of Vampiric Tutor is instant speed versus sorcery speed. Instant speed being far better for a tutor ability because then your opponent cannot manipulate your... It's funny, right, when I say your opponent cannot manipulate your deck. So here we have a dude who is very well-versed. This is legacy. We're not talking about a guy who is 12 years old and they made a mistake. We're not talking about 12-year-olds, 14-year-olds. All these people have been caught cheating. They've been playing Magic for a long-ass time, right? Seriously, like Aaron and friends and like... Jared Bocelli and Mark Collios, Carver Ho and uh, Mayfair and friend. Like, look. Legacy is a format where you play your deck over and over again. Maybe thousands, if not tens of thousands of times. You know that you're not supposed to play an extra wasteland. You know that you're not supposed to shuffle land on top of your deck. This is not things that are new, Right? So why are you doing it on camera two times? The reason I really need to make I need to make this point in any other job, like if, in his regular chemist job, do you think he can just steal chemicals? And then his boss be like, "Oh, great, Sebastian! Thanks for stealing those chemicals. Just give me some meth afterwards." No, he would get punished and go to jail. So if there was videotape of him stealing chemicals, he would go, he would not only lose his job, he would go to jail. But there's videotape of him stealing money from other Magic players. Not only is he not going to go to jail, he is now their MKM champion. You cannot take that away from him. Just like Pete Rose and Barry Bond, they're champions. Champion. He had a ceremony. He had to talk to his friends and they all clapped and everything. That moment has value to it. Because imagine how awful the second place runner up feels now. Yes, you can make him the first place, but he never got people to clap for him. He never felt like he had won and achieved it. It's different. You can't just retroactively make him the winner. Because one of the things that Magic... I, and I would imagine he makes quite a bit of money as a chemist in Germany. And that he's well off. To him, winning has value. Winning, if there was no prizes, winning still has value. People are clapping for you. People are saying how awesome you are. And you're taking that value away from someone who deserves it. I will make the real life comparison one more time and highlight a very subtle aspect of it that I think is understated. There's so many things you can do in magic that are criminal behaviors in real life. And there's so many people in magic who treat it as their piggy bank and they ask for donations. These things make no sense in real life. In real life, you got to go to work. You got to work your nine to five. Then you get your paycheck every two weeks. In real life, if you steal, you go to jail. In real life, if you cheat, you go to jail. In real life, if you're a Sebastian, you would go to jail. This is stealing from the other Magic players who all paid entrance fees into this prize pool. But because Wizard of the Coast has categorized it as non-gambling, like what? God, imagine if he did that at a casino. Jail would be like the safest place for him, right? <laughs> In Las Vegas. Man, like what would a casino boss do? Or back in the day when the casino was run by the mafia. Still could be run today. I'm not exactly sure. I, I finished watching that movie, Casino. It's a very good movie. This dude... Would <laughs> there are consequences in real life to what he's doing in Magic? However, in Magic, there are no consequences. You get just a little ban for three months, and that is it. That's that. And we'll see you back, Sebastian, in a month. Come on now, like 
This is why Magic the Gathering professional play and pro Magic players are a joke. The only way you can beat a dude with triple or quadruple black, black Lotus is if you cheat harder than he does. That's the only way you can beat him. Tell me another way. The whole idea that he wouldn't cheat on camera during the finals. Uh, wait a second. He just did that. So you telling trying to tell me that if there was no cameras during a final, he wouldn't be attempting to cheat and getting away. He got away with it. He became a Magic the Gathering MKM champion. Let me repeat that again. He is a Magic champion. You cannot take that away from him. People have clapped. People have um, said, oh, man, Sebastian, you're awesome. And if they, if he was, his name was Frank, man, he would be like using his fame to you know, get people to you know, go to the bedroom, the hotel room to train them in Magic, right? So he's benefit. Do not tell me he's not benefiting from cheating. Even if he's caught, he's still benefited from cheating. Because he took that experience, that really unique and real. I mean, only one person would have that experience, and he took that away. So, stacking lands, wastelands for zero, playing extra lands. This is your magic champion, Europe. I hope you're proud. Frankfurt legacy winner. Oh, wow. And I will go ahead and make the assumption that you cannot beat this guy without cheating. And for many years, since 2016, people have been beating him. The people who were beating him were probably better cheaters. Because he was cheating this entire time. If he's going to cheat in the finals, knowing that every action he's going to do is being recorded. Cheating a sixth round is risky, but maybe they don't have the cameras on you. It could be. I mean, there's so many other players. What There's like 200, 400 players here. It could be that they have extra cameras and they don't have cameras on you at the same time. I mean, there's two dudes talking and they were already playing. So it's kind of like, what? what's going on here? Regardless, this is proof, in my opinion, that all Magic the Gathering champions cheat. If you don't cheat, how do you beat this dude? This dude has no shame in cheating. And he won't, he won't stop cheating in the finals, right? If you cannot beat Sebastian, if you beat Sebastian, what does that say about you? If you beat someone who's cheating at very high levels, very, very advantageous cheats, Wastelands for zero or Stone Range for zero, Black Lotus is all over the place. You... <laughs> There has to be consequence. There is no consequence for his behavior. And that is why he cheated two times in the same day in the same tournament. If he was caught the first time with his wasteland maneuver, he doesn't get to the finals. But because Magic Gathering loves his cheaters, they let him into the finals. So... I don't want to hear that no one caught it, no one knew about it, or his opponent should have known. I don't go to a blanking magic tournament having to figure out if somebody cheated or not. That is not the purpose of a magic tournament. It is assumed that your opponent is fair and playing under the same rules you are. So I don't want to blame any of his opponents for not shuffling their decks or whatever. Like... Even if every opponent shuffled the deck and he still put land on top, but it all got just shuffled away, I would still consider that cheating. I would 100% consider that cheating. I would 100% want him banned, even if he didn't affect the game state, because his intent was to do so. And it shouldn't be my responsibility to watch this guy. Like Many people, oh, you should always shuffle your opponent's deck. What about if your opponent just slips in the wasteland where you're not looking? Oh, you should always watch your opponent. I am there to have fun in Magic. I'm not there to babysit every effing Magic opponent to make sure they're not cheating every second of the game. I mean, imagine playing against Alex, the dude who's been banned three times for cheating and has cheated hundreds, if not thousands of times. 
was that a fun experience? Do you think I want to watch every card and, you know, Alex, count. We need to count now. Oh, did you draw extra Alex? Count. Card count. Cards in hand, Alex. Cards in hand. Do you think I want to say cards in hand every single two seconds? Because Alex, you know, is drawing four off Ponder and five off Brainstorm, whatever he's doing. Alex, too many land. Explore. To explore. No, I don't want to be doing this. I'm, I'm playing Magic, and I'm assuming people are also fair. Like, why should I have to assume all my opponents are cheating me? But that is the state of Magic, especially at the high levels. You don't beat Sebastian without cheating better than Sebastian. Because there's no way you beat the power of Vampiric Tutors, plus Demonic Tutors, plus Stone Reigns, free Stone Reigns, plus Black Lotuses, plus Card Draw. How can you beat him? Bye, guys.